So in OBS, to keep everything running correctly, you want to have a profile and also some scene collection files here. And if you are using different users on that laptop, you're going to need to be able to export and import those profiles and scene collections. So if I need to export this profile, that's going to contain all of the server connection type information that I'm looking to hold on to here. So I will uh, now export. And I'm going to choose the USB stick that I've got here. It's asking me to select a folder. Well, there's no folder here right now, so I'm going to new folder it and call this uh, OBS profile. Select the folder. Done. It has saved that profile information to that folder. Now, I also want to export my scene collection so that all of the different scenes I've created and the different sources I've linked to are going to be there for whoever needs to use this uh, setup. So I'm going to go ahead and export. I've called it at my desk. I'm going to go down to my stick again. I'm going to throw it in that OS OBS profile folder. You'll notice there's another folder that it's been created there now. That is that profile information. So I'm just going to drop the scene collection file, this JSON file, right into the same folder so I can find everything and say save. Done. Which means I could potentially create a whole new profile if I needed to or go to a new scene collection. I've got an untitled one here I could switch to that has nothing. So if I launched OBS, saw absolutely nothing and said, geez, I need that stuff. I'm going to go ahead and um, import my profile. It's already there, but I'll go through the steps. Import anyway. USB. It says select that folder. So I'm selecting the folder that I had selected before, and there's that Tyndale training. So I'm going to click it and select folder. And in my case, profile already exists, so no worries. It said Tyndale training because under my profile, I've named it Tyndale training. Now the scene collection. Let me just come here for a second, and I will remove that. So now I've only got this blank untitled one. I will go ahead and import from my stick this JSON file and open. Now it doesn't immediately change. That can throw people off. Come up to the scene collection menu and actually choose the scene collection you just imported. Now I get everything back again, and I can start switching through my different stuff, whatever it is that I'm working on. And there we go.